Hey guys, welcome back. Today we wanted to talk about Snap to Grid. We've received a few messages in the past two weeks about people having issues with their images moving on the screen funny. And every time we discuss unclicking this option, it helps that person and fixes the issue that they were having. So I figured I'd make a quick video so I can just send that to people so that they would understand. So I've already gone ahead and drawn a square on my screen so that we have something to show. And I'm going to go to view and show grid so you can see my grid lines. I'm just going to move my square up into the corner and I've made it so that it fits into the grid lines here. Now I'm going to go to view and go to grid options. And this is where you would hit snap to grid and if you have it clicked this is where you would go to unclick it. So I'm going to show you first if I just click on my object and I move it, it just goes wherever I put it, right? So let me put it back in the corner. I'm going to use my arrow key on my laptop to show you. If I use it, it just pushes it over just a little bit with each click. And I'll put it back in the corner here. So now if I hit snap to grid and I move it, it moves right up into the grid lines. It doesn't go where I'm trying to put it. It goes to the grid. And now if I use my arrow, it's going to go from this grid line all the way to this grid line. See? So if you're having a, a problem where your image is, it looks like it's skipping on your screen, make sure you go to View, Grid Options to bring up this window. And then you would hit Unclick Snap to Grid, and then it'll move properly. Now, if you wanted to use Snap to Grid, but you wanted your divisions, which is how far over it moves, to be bigger, you would just go down here to divisions and push it up and then it'll just move. So if I have it on four, it'll move a quarter of the way each time. So I hope that helps and lets you understand Snap to Grid a little bit better. Um, I typically leave it off. It doesn't do anything for me. And most people who have that issue where it's jumping around, it's because of that. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys, happy crafting!